Now, the classic story uh, that shows it's a metaphor is that it says that the apostles, some of the apostles, uh, and, and, and a bunch of fishermen, they were all on this little fishing boat. And it says Jesus uh, was on the fishing boat with them. Uh, but it was just a little fishing boat. It's not the Queen Mary or the Titanic. It's just a little fishing boat. Right. And there's a few fishermen there, and Jesus was sleeping uh, uh, you know, at night. He he fell asleep, and all the fishermen are out there. And it says, and then I, a storm came up. It called the, the, the Bible says the tempest. A, a terrible, terrible storm came up. And the storm, the Bible says, was so so frightening was that storm, so fierce was that storm, that it, the Bible says the fishermen uh, started crying out to God and for protection because they knew they were going to die. The storm was so bad, and they're in this little uh, little fishing boat. And this storm was terrible, and they knew they were going to die. They were calling out to God to save them. And then it says somebody got the bright idea to wake up Jesus. Maybe he can help us. So they, they you know, they, they had to wake him up. Uh, and then he, when he woke up and saw the storm was so bad, uh, it says Jesus told the storm, just quiet down. Slow down and quiet down. And it says the Bible says, and, and, and over a period of time, the the uh, the storm started uh, quieting down and quiet and, twi- and quiet until it was finally gone. Well, actually, in point of fact, that's true. Uh, when there's a storm at sea at night, first of all, how would Jesus be sound asleep in a little fishing boat when the fishermen around him? were so scared they were going to die. They're calling out to God to protect them because they were going to die. It was so bad. But Jesus, he don't know none of it. He was sound asleep. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, God, anybody who's in a little fishing boat and there's a terrible hurricane comes up uh, and you're going to sleep all the way through it and you didn't know anything happened. They had to wake you up to tell you there's a storm. Uh, it makes no sense until you understand that Jesus is God's son, the light of the world, and that's what happens. Uh, when a storm is at night, it can be brutal and terrible storms on the ocean. But when the sun comes up, it heats up the atmosphere, and then it begins to dissipate, and the, and the storm begins to dissipate. And finally, after the sun is really coming up, and it begins to warm up the ocean and warm up the waters, uh, the storm dissipates and is gone. Mm. Well, that's a classic example of God's son telling the ocean to quiet down, and ultimately it, it did. Why? Because it's the sun that affects storms on the ocean. God's son, the light of the world. 